Good afternoon, Cube community, and welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here at the very end of three days of live coverage on the Cube of Dell Tech World. It has been an absolutely fantastic week. I'm joined with my wingmen today here for this final segment. I'm Savannah Peterson, John Furrier on my right, Paula Liberté on my left. Gentlemen, those smiles, I love it. You've really kept the energy going. You've just been great, Bob. Thank you, it's been great I'm really great glad you're here. on the team. Thank you, glad Thanks to be here. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for convincing him to join us. He's getting his reps in, he's getting some cube mojo, getting your mojo down on the cube. Absolutely. Good job. He's got his well angles, done. he's been co-hosting, he's been in yeah. all the analyst it's sessions. It's been fun. Yeah. What's yeah. been the highlight for you? Of the entire show or of the cube process? I mean, in theory, <laughs> Don't your go to the highlight cube. would be the cube. However, uh, no, well, why, why not both? Whole show and the Yeah, and no, as absolutely. Well as I, think, um, I think for me, obviously, I cover networking, so hearing a lot of the networking being elevated, but overall. Big conversation here this week. Yeah, exactly. Getting up on main stage and having Dell talk about networking was huge for me. Uh, to be able to hear that and great for the overall community. I think Dell did a great job of talking about how to get started with AI. They even have an accelerator workshop, if you're not familiar with it. Yeah. Go ahead and, and talk to your rep about that. It's free and it'll help get you started, right? And that's ultimately what I think everyone was trying to say is there's lots of great outcomes yeah. of this event, but you got to get started. I give more a little more color on your uh, research area you're focused on for the folks watching. Yeah. You've got networking and a lot more. What are the hot areas that you're digging up right now? What's the focus? Yeah, well certainly uh, from a networking perspective, two things I like to look at. AI for networking, so think of that as AI ops, and then networking for AI the physical infrastructure. So we heard a lot this week about the physical infrastructure supporting AI, right, uh, as you might expect. But certainly that also, how do we drive, leverage AI to drive operational efficiencies in managing network environments? So that's really big. I think from, obviously there's some other big things going on as well, things like little Wi-Fi 7s, outdoor authentication, outdoor approvals for Wi-Fi 7 and things like that in 6E. So a lot of great stuff going on in the networking space looking at observability space as well, as these environments get a lot more distributed and complex, you need to be able to have visibility in that end-to-end -end environment. So really looking into that, researching that, figuring out how all that comes together so that organizations can manage their environments more effectively. Awesome. It's an exciting time. John, what about you? What, what's been your highlight this week here in Las Vegas? Um, I think for the show, is watching the coverage yesterday and not being able to be on the desk. And I was, <laughs> a little FOMO. Yeah, I had a little FOMO, because you guys, well, even day one, J.J. Davis was on. We had a strong yeah, Caitlin, start. Caitlin Gordon, John, oh man, just great. Yeah. Uh, J.J. Davis, Bob O'Donnell. And then yesterday, I just, you know, I love the technical conversations around uh, AI, because I think that's what going to be, the, lead, the deep tech will lead the product. And I think, uh, you know, the Travis Vigil and Ehab um, was a great conversation. Um, I thought that was a phenomenal one, and I think what they're doing um, is incredible work because the silicon, the custom silicon's coming out from the Broadcoms of the world, the NVIDIA's, and AWS's of the world, that's going to power a lot of stuff, and it, it, it's the nexus of all networking storage, it's the holy, the holy grail, in my opinion, of what will it will enable, so I love the, and it's in the weeds, but it's awesome. It's supercomputing, it's CES, it's Mobile World Congress, it's all the shows that I love to go to. Say, you um, know you're speaking my language. Sam Brokaw was amazing, he's a great leader, um, great product guy too, and, and of course Jeff is leading up their AI, so yesterday was action packed, and of course Michael Dell, um, he was probably wondering where I was, um, <laughs> all the things he's worried about. So I think, you know. You got to say hi to my mom. <laughs> that was... And that was my favorite part. So the, I think the interviews were great. And then of course, Dell Factory, AI Factory was, was, a, was a fantastic moment here. But yeah, just great lineup and the content. You guys did such an incredible job. And Thanks, John. I mean, I think the team coverage, the, I'm so proud of our team coverage model that's expanding. It's really cohesive, it's very, a lot of teamwork. And I just, it just did, the content's better. And then everyone's having a good time. So I think, at the end of the day, the audience is consuming great content. So thanks to the team here and everyone. Yeah. It's been great. Yeah. I, think, I, think it, I think it was awesome. I mean, I have to say I did not have having Michael Dell say hello to my mother on my bingo card when I started 2024, uh, especially in a live broadcast. But that was an extraordinarily special yeah. moment. Check that off the bucket list. Yeah, check that off the bucket list. Now I got to keep going up the billionaire list. You know, he's number 12, so I got to figure out how we, how we continue up that, uh, continue that ascent. Really special moment though. I mean, I was raised by a single mom. She bought me my first Dell when I was 17. And so it was a very cool, very full circle yeah. moment. It also changed the tone of the whole day. We got to talk to a lot of people about their kids, the conversations yeah. they're having at the dinner table around AI, how they're using generative AI with their families. And it's awesome because at the end of the day, 
yes, all these machines and gadgets are cool, but it, none of it matters if we don't make the lives of, of the people we love better through, through what we do. Well, I, I think that is so awesome because what, the other thing that's interesting is that these folks are working hard. We all work hard, we have families, yeah. and, to, and to share with them what's going on in the trenches, because especially now with the AI, it's, it's actually exciting. So there'll be, be more bringing your home, home, work home with you, like and AI will be everywhere. So yeah. it's good to share with the family like yeah. what people are working on and, and share the successes. Yeah. Well, and especially when you've got something like AI where it started with the consumerization of the technology, right? With chat GPT and things like that leading it, it enables that bridge between the people that you have at home and your family over the dinner conversations and what we're actually doing here at work. So my, yeah. my, my favorite moments were a couple things that happened that want to share one here. But one was the, the HPC Innovation Lab had a special guest came on. I thought that was a moment today that'll be. Chris was um, wonderful. She was not only wonderful, she worked on some cool stuff, but we've been covering HPC and the AI intersection for two years, Savannah, at yes, Supercomputing. You and it's become quite the, the program, and it's becoming more mainstream, not niche the niche HPC. It's coming in and it's impacting data centers, which is now the AI factory. So I'm expecting this year, that will change the makeup of most of the shows. It'll change Mobile World Congress, it'll change CES, it's going to change some of these major industry shows. Even the vendor shows are going to be impacted by AI. And it's not just cloud and AI and data, it's, on, it's distributed computing, so I think networking's going to be a big part of it. So that to me was a big interview. And, and then finding out that Elevate, Bob, you, you brought yeah. some news to us. Share, yeah, you're the scoop. share the you scoop the on scoop. the Elevate. So a couple, Love it. couple weeks ago, I was at one of the Elevate uh, Technology Group user meetings. Uh, so a lot of great content shared, a lot of great information and networking accomplished. And uh, what we found out today walking around is that they hit the 10,000 milestone. So 10,000 members achieved at Delft. They had the big uh, announcement yesterday with a special guest they had, which was uh, Michael Dell. Stopped into the Elevate Technology User Group Ooh. and said hello and, and shared some information. So they're really looking to expand and grow. So if you're out there, you're looking for a place to be able to get information from your peers, great opportunity. So man, that's, a, that's a great example of a growing community. It is, you know, I love community, John. Yeah. And, and I mean, the AI community is only going to grow and, and this train is only going to keep moving faster. I really enjoyed that we had Yvonne McGill on. She is the CFO of Dell. And she is one of uh, only a handful of female CFOs in the Fortune 500. That's great, that's So impressive. I love seeing that kind of representation. She was so confident, I was going to say bullish. Yeah, you can say bullish, why not? Yeah. She was just, she was very uh, enthusiastic and I'm just going to say this, no offense to all the other CFOs in the world, a really refreshing CFO perspective and someone who's clearly all in on Dell's investment. I mean, stock's up 180% since she stepped in a year ago, so I'm not surprised she's feeling really good and confident right now, but it was a really, I don't know, it was, it, it was a super fun interview. Yeah, I think, honestly, I think yesterday's lineup, and frankly, just for me as a professional, was probably one of my best days on theCUBE and, and the content, and I, I feel like I learned things. Yeah. You know, it was a really, it was a great day for the curious, and this whole show has been a really great day for the yeah, curious. Yeah. There's so many exciting announcements. The AI factory is going to mean a lot, but it's more than just that. I think what I'm feeling that's different here in Las Vegas this time around is it's less of this hype, smoke and mirrors, uh, uh, science experiments, which I, science projects, which I thought was cute, was a great term for it that John used earlier. It was, it's much more about actually how we are making AI real, how we are changing lives, how we are doing more quicker reports in radiology so that people, yeah. doctors can be with their patients and so many things starting to actually be realized yeah. in some of this ROI coming back in from the industry, which is super yeah. cool. I mean, there's definitely hype here. Dell's not short on the hype, believe me. Look at their press releases. You know, Dell expands Dell's AI factory with turbocharging AI adoption. That's pretty good copy right there, I got to admit. Maybe it was done by the AI, but, but the reality, <laughs> the reality <laughs> is about it. No, but, the, but the thing that's, that, that to your point is, is that we're in build out mode. So really? the, the, the AI wave is here. Okay, it's now year one and a half, two years, whatever D mark you want to point, what date you want to pick. So that means stuff's starting to hit the streets, the fruit's coming off the tree, meat's on the bone, whatever you want to say. And you're starting, How many more analogies are you going you're to give starting us? To see, you're starting to see the line where there's winners and losers, and the old way and new ways emerging. I think with the research we're doing and the more content, it's becoming clear what's old. And that's not going to come back, and then the new ways will come in. So I think as we start documenting and doing more data gathering and learning, it's curious, it's build out mode, run hard, product led, um, product led leadership, yeah. uh, and speeds and feeds are back. And so this is now, I think, a really important moment, and great for us because we can report on it. 
Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's a great moment. It got me really excited for supercomputing. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Atlanta in November. I think a lot of the conversations we're here are going to be continuing to be realized and, and super exciting. All right. You know what? Another one last thing I'll just yeah, point out please. that might be interesting is also we saw a lot of the ecosystem show up, right? This has so been this throughout the- This is a whole the, ecosystem party. Right, through the whole spring, we've been seeing this more and more, that yep. it's not just any one technology vendor that's going to provide all those solutions and products, but it's going to be that ecosystem, and we're seeing that deep integration, the collaborative engineering taking place between these large partners yep. to make sure it's driving value for their customers. Yeah. Super important ecosystem point, is, e Ecosystem will be the tell sign of if someone's AI platform, because it's a system, yeah. it's a platform connected together if yeah. there's no ecosystem, it's like a bar or nightclub you go into and no one's there. It's like, what? You got to have people on, on, right. on the ecosystem, so we'll see. It's, and everyone's doing it. All the top no, players. No, I know every big, every, all the key players in AI, I, I joke that they're kind of like the, the AI celebrity group where they're, they, they were celebrity superheroes, AI superheroes is what somebody was saying on the show earlier this week. And, it, and it's true, it's, it's kind of cute how they've all gone to each other. Cute sounds pedestrian, but it's, notable how they've all gone to each other's shows, it's been a part of those keynotes that you see Jensen here, that you see Michael there. It's, 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 a, it's very fun, it's a fun time to be in. What if they have a Slack channel you know, or a shared thread? The superheroes talking to each other. Come to my event, I'll go to your event. I, I would assume it's more like a signal chat or something a little more <laughs> encrypted than, uh, than, than Slack, no offense to Slack, but I, I, th I think it's maybe a little sneakier than that, but that's, that's me. Anyway. I have really enjoyed spending the week with great, both of you. Great job, Savannah. It's always fun, awesome. Bob, what a pleasure. John, always a treat. Most importantly, I've enjoyed working with all of the people that you cannot see on camera right now back here looking at all you beauties. Yep. Thank you for your fabulous work for keeping us hydrated. Shout out to Frank Fay on our sales team for making sure yep. we've got segments Dave booked. Volante was Curly here. was fabulous. I'm not going to let you go without a shout out, darling. You probably brought me 74 water bottles this week and I am grateful for that. And most importantly, I'm grateful for all of you for tuning in wherever you might be. We're here in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. For the last time at Dell Tech World, my name's Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news.